Hi, welcome to this new video. I am finally drawing again. After a long time of an activity, I decided to grab my pencil and try to draw something. In this drawing, as you can see, I just restarted, so I decided not to draw a whole plane, but just a wingtip. You obviously know to which aircraft this belongs, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the Airbus A350, who doesn't know it? The airline we're drawing on this is Sichuan Airlines, a Chinese airline based in Chengdu International Airport. This guys is the largest airline based in Western China. Sichuan Airlines took delivery of their first A350-900 almost five years ago, and they currently have five of these airplanes in service. Two of them are painted in Panda Special Livery. Go check it out, it's an amazing one. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and liked this drawing. Hi, welcome to this new video. I'm still keeping on this airplane parts drawing series for now. That's why today, as you can see, I'm drawing part of an Air Canada Rouge Boeing 767. Charlie Golf Hotel, Papa November to be precise. A 20 year old 767 300 that was delivered to this airline in 2013, but before that used to fly for both Air Canada and Hawaiian Airlines. Air Canada Rouge is not an old airline. It was only founded in December 2012 and began operations in July the next year. Their first destination was from Toronto to Kingston, Jamaica. This Montreal-based airline is a subsidiary of Air Canada. Being a lower-cost airline, it mainly serves leisure destinations, the Caribbean area, Central America, Mexico, and the United States. Because of the pandemic, all their 25767 now belong to the past. That's why they've stopped long-haul international flights. After their retirement, the fleet now consists of only Airbus aircraft. They have 20 A390s, 5 A320s, and 17 A321s. Welcome to this new video, guys. After a long time again, I decided to pick up my pencil and start drawing. I'm starting with just a simple drawing. Two tails, back part of two Boeing 777s, not a complete Boeing, and not a complete Airbus. Let's talk a little bit about the 777. The Boeing 777 introduced in 1995 comes in different variants and lengths. It includes the original 777-200 followed by extended range 777-200ER and the stretched 777-300. Later, long range versions like 777-300ER and 777-200LR entered service. And additionally, a freighter version, the 777F, was introduced in 2009. United Airlines was the first airline to operate the 777 commercially. Let's just finish outlining these two. And you guys try and guess, what's the airline these two aircraft belong to? Comment below. The first one who gets it right, gets a gift. But you only have three tries to guess it right. So think about it. Hi, welcome to this new video. I'm completing the two tails drawing here. As you can see, the airline they belong to is Japan Airlines. Japan Airlines retired its last 777-200ER from scheduled service in December. Being an early adopter of the 777, they used this aircraft for both short and long-haul flights. The retirement process began as the airline introduced newer Airbus A350-900 aircraft for high-capacity domestic routes. By May last year, Japan Airlines had retired its second-to-last 777-200ER. They started operating the 777-200ER in 2002 and began phasing them out in 2020, with the fleet comprising 26 aircraft, most over 20 years old. As of today, the airline still operates 13 777-300ERs for long-haul routes, which will also be replaced by A350-1000. So guys, comment below the drawing you like the most, and why. Hoping that you liked this video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell icon so you never miss any new video. Have a nice day.